Hello, I am Sue. I have started to do flipping. I have like 80 items listed and I sold my first two items finally. <laughs> so I'm all psyched. <laughs> I think I won the lottery. Anyway, um, I want to share with everybody uh, my shopping day today. First of all, these were from the other day and they're all ready to be listed. So I still have to do these. This is that one. This is um, Kanawa. Um, what do you call that? Uh, <laughs> I'm very new at this. Sling glass or swan glass, swan glass, sorry. And we have the two little cupids with the pink roses. So all of these have to be listed still. These I'm keeping, I do this a lot. I keep a lot of things. I just, uh, they're just so beautiful. Uh, Murano glass. I love these in particular because of um, it's like a longer swirl, swirl. And this is the Boston City Skyline. And I'm from Boston. And I happened to go to Mission Bay in Swampskit uh, two days ago. And you can see the whole Boston skyline from that restaurant. So I was like, that's weird. I bought this and I went there. So it's a music box that plays Yankee Doodle. And this is ready to be listed too. It's pretty pretty. Some things are really hard to part with, but I only buy things I love. And in that way, if it doesn't get sold, it's mine and I won't be disappointed. So let's check out what I did today. I'm gonna wear the gloves because everybody's touching everything in there. I'm gonna just start making videos and a lot of the stuff, I don't know what to work. I can't find out information. I put them aside. And hopefully someday I'll find them. So this is the last supper. And I only know how to take videos on my cell phone. So I don't even know if I'm getting this all in. Hopefully I am. This is um, the last supper. And I gotta still look that up. And it's all written down here in Latin, I believe. And nothing really on the back. So that's item number one. They put each of them pretty much in just one bag because they don't have boxes there. This one's for the Mardi Gras, I believe. I always thought these mask things were really cool, but I've never bought one before. So I usually only buy something if um, if I don't mind keeping it, if someone doesn't buy it. And you know what? I think this is really cool. I don't know anything about it. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find out anything about it. I just think it's really cool. I don't list anything unless I know something about it. So I have to find out something before I list it. My husband came with me today and he got this um, pollen shoe. I don't know much about them. I know we used to have one. And I remember somebody telling me before, it doesn't matter if you have just one, there was only one there. But he wasn't going to get it because it was only one. And I said, I'll get it anyway. Why not? Maybe we'll go back in and we'll find the other one. Who knows? That's a windmill. That one. And an actual pair of shoes. These are cool. These are really cool. I don't know what they go for. I haven't looked any of these things up yet. In the store, I look them up to see if I can make some money off of them, but just like, you know, a ballpark type thing. I'm gonna start um, taking pictures and then videotaping them afterwards. <laughs> I wish I had been doing this all along. I have a lot of things I have not listed because I just don't know what the value is. And I think some of the, the things are really valuable, but um, I don't really have anyone to help me on that. I subscribed to Just the Answer and I was using them, but after 10 days, they told me that I was asking too many questions. <laughs> oh, it did say unlimited questions. They asked like 30 questions in 10 days. They said, you're asking all appraiser expert questions. Like, well, what do you want me to do? Make up doctor appointment and lawyer questions? I don't need them. And they allowed me back on the site if I paid 
$38, I think it was. And I already paid the $24 for the month, so they said I can come back in on May 22nd. So we'll see. Let's see about that. And then they invited me back again, and they said I can come back right now for $58. And then I could get a coupon and have that money taken off. I don't know if I trust the site, you know. Anybody wants to um, message me at kyankee-63 hyphen on eBay. Maybe you can give me any um, input you have on this just answer stuff. You know, I mean, I'm new to all of this, so maybe I was just annoying people. I don't know. I got this beautiful turkey plate, which I plan on keeping for us. But, eh, I don't know. I mean... I could sell it. I just don't think I get enough, and I love it. So I'll probably keep this. I do that a lot, <laughs> as you say. I could go around this whole house right now and show you what I've kept. It's not even funny. All right, next. I watch the videos all the time of uh, uh, George, um, Antique Nomad. I love his videos. He is so smart. He knows everything. And I've learned a lot from him. I wish I could just, you know, pick his brain. And I love the crazy lamp lady. I love watching her every day. It's so much fun. And the nurse flipper has taught me a lot about teapots. I have to say. And another woman I watch um, sometimes too. Um, Vegas. I don't remember her name. I think she's in there now with her son or something. And I like the pro picker. <laughs> She's a lot of fun. I learn a lot from these videos. So I love this. This looks valuable. I wish right now I could have the crazy lamp lady tell me exactly what it is. Who taps it knows. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. I just couldn't pass it up. I know this has to be valuable, but I don't know my glass well enough to tell you even what it is. So I have to find it. I won't list it unless I know what it is. All right, and what else do I have? This, I think, was the find for the day. I love these. I did look these up while I was in the store, and I think they go for like $35 a piece. I didn't take the tape off and check the lids, so except for one of them. I'm just praying that they're all good. But this isn't the one. I, I didn't check them on any of these three. But, um, I got a Kensington teapot last week, and when I opened up the cover, um, there was a big crack on the inside. I had trusted there was no crack there because I usually go to Bootstraps in Beverly and they don't pull that. <laughs> so I was disappointed in that. Beautiful vase though. Beautiful vase. Anyway, I got three of these. They go for about 35, I think. I saw. This milk cream is beautiful. I'm gonna have to sell them singly. I don't know who would buy three for me all at once. And eBay doesn't let you have um, more than one product, so I don't know, of the same thing. It's pretty good today. I spent $90, well, I got $90 worth of things, but I got $20 off for hitting my 100 rewards um, at Savers. Um, I think I'm going again tomorrow. My husband's getting a little upset because... I'm not selling anything, I'm just buying and buying and buying. But oh, this one, this one, it really went off the um, off the edge on this one. I don't know if I should have bought this. I really don't. I don't even know what it is. It's some kind of um, Indian sun goddess, I think. And it would cost a fortune to ship it. I'm really not sure why I bought it. And after I rang it up, I was like, oh no, is it too late? <laughs> Why did I do this? I told my husband, and I put it out on my front steps. <laughs> you know, people do that. They put things on their front steps. makes the house look really good. And he's thinking of planting um, a maple tree out there. Cherry maple or, or something like that. That would look really cool next to it. But I can't sell it because I don't know what it costs. I don't know what it is. There's, I don't think there was any markings on this. There's something there. Um, upside down. Anyway. 
really cool on my this edge. And it's something I wouldn't mind being, you know, having to keep. Um, Panacho or something? Panacho? Woman with headdress. Muja. Muja. Isn't that like woman in Spanish, I think? Uh, anyway. If anybody knows, K Yankee hyphen six three at eBay. I, think, I hope you allow the message for that. All right, let me see. This is why not. It's, it's about an item, but then it's not listed yet. So, so I'll just look at something else. Pretend you're um, you're inquiring about that. <laughs> I have to say, this is a lot of fun. Let me tell you the things that I bought that. I keep hoping I'll be here. It's a perfect place to put everything. All out of the way. What do we got here? Oh, I got a teapot. Nurse Flipper has turned me on to buying teapots. Okay. This one. Um, hope I was really, this is stamped and everything, but I can't see it. What I do is I go back, I take pictures, and then enlarge them to see it. This is the first time I've taken this out since I've been home. So I can't even tell you what that says. Seriously, I don't know. I don't know, but it looks pretty good. And this is the one I took the uh, tape off to make sure it was all intact, and it is. Very nice teapot. Beautiful. I don't really drink tea. I used to, but I felt like it made my teeth kind of yellowish. So, I don't know. I got out of drinking it. I was drinking one every night when I got home from work. I'm a coffee person. I just love my coffee. One more bag here. One more bag. Oh, yeah. What about these? These two little rooster um, picture frames. I honestly don't know what they go for, but I felt it. Of course, I don't have my. This just felt like not. It's not a print or anything. I don't know. So, I mean, it's not a print, but. I don't know how valuable it is. I don't know if it's more valuable having the writing in the back. One of the questions I asked my appraiser when I was online was um, if that made it more valuable, and they said no. But then I think Dr. Lari said it's more valuable if that's there, but I don't know. I love Dr. Lari too. I watch her all the time. She's helped me a lot too. Um, so I gotta find out. Nice pair. Again, anything that I don't sell, I don't mind keeping. What else is in this bag? Oh, I bought this for my husband. Nice little gravy cup. So tired of him bringing a cup out here and it's dripping all down his, his uh, cup all the time. So clean that out really good, have that. And he grabbed himself a Star Trek mug. Live long and prosper, Dr. Spock. We've watched every Star Trek series um, binge watched it in fact last year every single one of them it was so good love star trek yeah and oh he brought this he was going to put it back but he says well i can't turn it or anything i'm not going to bother candle over but i've been using a lot of candles lately because i was going to sell candle holders and then nobody bought anything i want to warn anybody out there who's doing this ebay stuff if somebody contacts you for an item and they ask you to um, call them at their at their number because they have a question about your your item or if they ask you to um, email them don't <laughs> my very first sale I had a beautiful candle holder for $51 and the person said I just have a question can you email me or text me at this number so I texted right away. I was so excited. I got my first sale, $51. And they wanted my password to, um, not to eBay, password to um, PayPal, I think it was. I said, well, I don't have a PayPal. And they said eBay wouldn't let them um, sell on there. And and then right after that, I got it uh, from the same area code. 
I got a warning from Chase Bank saying they were closing my account for um, um, suspicious activity. It wasn't Chase, it was Citizens Bank. And I don't have a Citizens Bank. So I think this person was trying to get me to click on that, to give him information, um, to, um, you know, pretending he was Citizens Bank or something. I said, I am never falling for that again. So a whole month has gone by, nobody has bought anything. I have one thing listed for sold, just one thing, and I didn't even sell it. I get another one, a guy from Spain who wanted something and he wanted me to call him or email him. And I'm like, no, I only go through eBay. So he went away. And then that same day, somebody else wanted something else on my, on my thing. Same thing, call me or email me. Like they're targeting me because I'm the new person. So it was so disappointing. But I just had this faith that it's all gonna work out. It's too much fun not to, you know. So um, then I got my first real sale. Uh, the other day for a Deborah Duran Grieger plaque that I had listed and and then like the very next day a pair of sneakers that I had listed so I'm really happy I know it's only two sales but I, I can only do like one list in a day they want to know everything <laughs> it's unbelievable so now I'm giving history lessons on every single item like the Debbie uh, the Deborah Duran Eagle one. I will see every award she ever got. I just I just went all out. And because of that one person, and I've been on this, I've actually been on eBay. I'm saying a couple of months, it's been even longer. This one person had faith in me. I told this one person, you get 25% off in my store for the rest of your life. I was so happy. Alrighty, so oh, I have one more thing. Where did it go? Took it out. It wasn't in a bag. My husband actually took this out. Where did it go? Shoot. It's another globe with a cute little bird in it. And I put it down over there. I did. It really had my fill of these uh, snow globes, but this bird's really cool. And I like it because it's on pine cones. My mother always loved pine cones. Um, my whole life she'd go out and get the most beautiful pine cones and decorate them. So I was like, oh, this would be, was that a cardinal? No, a cardinal would be red. I was telling my husband, um, oh, I, I'm so glad you got that glow with the rooster in it. He goes, there's no rooster in it. I said, yes, there was. And we come home, he goes, that's a rooster. <laughs> I know, it's not a rooster. But I think this might be valuable just because of the, this part of it. I don't know. pretty. I don't know what it goes for. And if I don't find out, then it's going to end up sitting over here on my, my uh, desk. So I think that's good for one tape for now. I could take you all around my house and show you everything that I kept. <laughs> and I have art pictures galore that I'm not sure what they, you know, I'll do that for another video. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. It's been nice knowing you all. If you know anything about any of these items, and some clueless, Please feel free to message me, okay? All right, thank you. Bye.